Betty. My name is Sammy, and I'm going to be doing an assessment on you. Are you okay with that? Yes. Can you tell me what your name is? Betty. And what is the date today? 1-31-20. And what town are we in? Glenn. And how old are you? 89. All right. So, do you have any problems hearing? Mm, sometimes. Okay, well, I'm going to whisper two words in each of your ears, and I want you to repeat those words back to me, okay? Red brick. Track. Very good. Are you having any trouble breathing today? No. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to hold one side of your nose and breathe out the other. No problems. Okay, and now opposite, I'm going to have you breathe out the other side. Perfect. Now I'm going to just feel for your lymph nodes. We're going to do the post auricular, the sand mandibular, as well as the subclavicle. I'm gonna have you um, follow this pin. I'm gonna check for your extraocular movements. I don't want you to move your head, just with your eyes. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to listen to your heart and your lungs. So first I'm going to listen to your heart. Okay, now I'm going to listen to your lungs. I just want you to breathe in and out through your mouth. Deep breath. to the side and the other side and I'm going to have you sit up so I can listen to your back just keep breathing in in and out sound good and all five lobes bilaterally. Now I'm just going to test the strength of your body. I'm going to push on the front of your forehead. I want you to push back. Perfect. Now the same push back. Push the right side and now the left. Okay, I'm going to test the strength of your shoulders. I want you to push up your shoulders up towards your ears. Perfect. We're going to move to your hands. I want you to squeeze both my fingers. Squeeze up. Okay, now I want you to push my hands up to the ceiling with your hands. Perfect, now pull them down to the ground. Good, now I want you to take my hands and push them outwards. All right, now push them in, perfect. Now we're gonna move down to your knees. I want you to push knee, your knees up to the ceiling. Beautiful. I'm gonna move to your feet. I want you to pull back your ankles towards my hands, perfect. Now push away from me. Beautiful. Your feet, I want you to push up against my hands. Now I want you to push down towards the ground. Push your feet out against my hands. Okay, and now push in against my hands. Beautiful. All right, so your strength looks good. Your assessment all looks very well. Next, we're gonna move on to the Tinetti assessment tool. This is gonna just check your balance, okay? So I have you in a firm chair with no arms. You seem very steady in the chair. I just wanted to have you stand up for me. Perfect. And we're just gonna stand here for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. You're very steady on your feet. 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly nudge you back. I'm going to have my hand back here so you won't fall. I'm going to do it three separate times just to check your balance, okay? One, two, three. Perfect. Now what I want you to do is I want you just to close your eyes just for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you can open your eyes. I want what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you take a step and we're gonna just turn around in the circle all the way around. Perfect. I'm gonna have you take a seat back in the chair. So your balance is very good. I love to see that. The last thing we're going to do is we are going to assess your gait, and that's the way you walk. So I'm just going to have you stand up again. Beautiful. And then we're just going to take about 10 steps forward. Okay, and then you can turn around and come back. So your feet are moving symmetrically. They um, aren't stopping and going. They're picking up off of the floor well. You're, you're walking very steadily. You can go ahead and have a seat. I've noticed your floors are clean. You don't have any extension cords or anything that you could trip over. Um, you do have oxygen that you use at night. So if you get up to go to the bathroom, make sure you take it off so you don't have any cords on the floor. Um, you need to be careful while you're walking on this tile, especially without shoes on in the house, because you don't want to slip, because the tile can become um, slick sometimes. Your medications, I know we talked earlier, we already talked about having them put up. I know there's not a lot of little kids that come around here, but that way nobody can get into those medications. Um, and then as far as your medications go, um, with your insurance, I know that if you're ever having trouble with that, covering the cost of your your medications just to call your primary care physician and they'll be able to help you um, with the cost. There's different discount programs and stuff you can apply for. Do you have any questions? Uh, I don't think so. All right, you look good, you walk good, your balance is good. Thank you for letting me be there with you.